This took all season long, all season to get the one and only legendary star of the hills, Sean Stewart. Um, he is in the building. This is not a hologram. You know, he was traveling. He was in Palm Beach. He was in Vegas. We've been trying to get him. So this is a big event. It doesn't tie to the most recent episode, unfortunately, but... Well, we can it's rewind. Still relevant. We can rewind and recap because I felt like Sean didn't get a testimonial chair. So a lot of things, and he doesn't watch the show. And he would call us and be like, "How was the episode?" I'd be like, "Sean, I don't think you would have." I mean, Sean always looked very funny and very nice, but I think Sean, if he'd had a testimonial chair, could have been like had a different version of all the events. And so this is his testimonial chair, and just fair playing field. You know, let's. Yeah. Other people got to shape the narrative of the situation. Okay, so let's start. How was your experience of the hills? What was your perception? How was it? What was your experience? I mean, the cast was great. You guys were great. It just, I feel like it was so, like fake. Like they, you guys set me and Audrina up. It was more like to get you know, her storyline on the show and make her storyline more interesting. I showed up as a gentleman with flowers to be nice. And, you know, they tried to make it seem like I was like in love with her. And I get DMs be like, oh my God, you are so amazing on the show. What a gentleman. She totally, you know, lost her chance with you. I'm like, as far as me, she's a great person. She's sweet, but there was no interest at all. And I just want to clear that up because... Then, you know, Brody, you know, tried to play all, oh, I'm going I'm to steal Audrina from Sean. That's not the case. That's not what happened at all. They're together. Good for them. They both maybe could have a lot in common. They can both have intelligent conversations with each other. I don't know about what, but there was no feelings there. I was left with a broken heart. People are like writing on the Daily Mail and please. <laughs> I mean, I was just being myself and being a wonderful human being with a kind heart. And if that's what I, a bad boy, like she likes bad boys, but what's a bad boy? Someone who treats women with lack of respect. A man is supposed to build a woman up, not destroy them down. That's just a man who doesn't have respect for their mother or women. So I feel like there's elements of truth and that's where the show becomes tricky, right? Like it is real but then it's scripted and then like even the cast gets blurred with those lines like the truth was you really did come with an open heart you yeah, did come maybe with you things. Would like her. you're like yeah, yeah let's just see what happens right like you did bring flowers you were very thoughtful um everything like that and i think that the truth also is there's some background with adrena and brody and has been and then i do think actually seeing with you adrena probably react he had a reaction you know in yeah. real life so i think that also played in and he, that could have been played off or whatever but it's like they do have something so it's tricky being inside the cast right and like having yeah. dealt with these people and being because i'm not i'm like i don't want to set things up i just want to be like i just want to have fun i just want to be myself so that causes problems with people and that's their problem but like also coming in from an outside to be pulled in for a certain storyline seems really hard because it's strategic and you're only allowed like this amount of room to grow and then it's like oh sorry now you're off without having like the ending that you want because there was one more scene right yeah, like, there he, one scene you, he you was didn't... at like he said well i was on last night's episode and i was like no they edited you out of kristen's party so that's where it's annoying like sean is more powerful than just like oh if him and adrina didn't work out sean's right. there i want sean i talked about a lot of things no they we, wanted me to film more and i just didn't want to do it like they wanted me to go to Caroline's um, Pizza Girl Sauce launch, and I just was didn't want to go because I just didn't want to film anymore. I just didn't. I felt like I don't know. I just wasn't into it. Like I feel like there was no. I don't know. I just I just kind of lost interest in it. I felt like I brought so much. I got along with the cast. I feel like you know I loved hanging out with you guys and you know love seeing Brody and everybody, but I just didn't want to do it anymore. Like I just feel like I was I could bring so much to the table, and you know, Audrina thought I was just there for her, honey. You were I was just not on the show for you, honey. 
they wanted me to show up more and that's where they just where I was like you know what I'm just not gonna do it. I remember me and you having the conversation with like you need to show up and, and and show them that you're just not there for her and I just didn't care like yeah. I just didn't care anymore people were DMing me saying she's lucky to be in your presence and all this stuff but I know you know what I mean on like my Instagram on my DM, uh, DMs and I'm not like a big Instagram person I don't post I barely ever post or I'll do like a social media Instagram or whatever I'm not really into all that stuff you know what I mean so yeah that's why I just wanted to make sure you got on here because I watched it all it it was real in the sense that I thought Adrena in real life, like I thought she's going to fall in love with Sean. Like she supposedly is into like rocker type vibes. You're the definition of rocker. Yeah. You're not a bad boy. Like yeah. what it like, cause you're a good guy. So I thought I did think there she, was a time yeah, when thought, she said like, yeah, actually I really like yeah, Sean. So I and think, like, I do you know, think Brody so. came in and like hated on this in real life. I think that's what happened and, got, and acted like he was interested. So because well, you I, know, you it met, wasn't it, fake in the sense she did did like you but you like, don't know that you don't know if that happened yeah or just if, i speculated well based the thing off with the Adrena show is she just changes her mind quickly right like she, or she'll forget she like felt some way or did something like i experienced that with her she's like oh i never said that or i never felt that way i'm like maybe you have selective amnesia or i'm not sure what's going on with you but i do think it's for the oh, best, the you know, oh, but I, it is such a bummer because you were such an asset to yeah. the group and like you're such a star and you had so much to contribute and you were so funny and entertaining. And I feel like a lot, some of the cast members were threatened by you, which is great because that makes people like work harder, be yeah. more on their A game, you know, and there was just so much growth there. Like, I didn't think that that was going to be the end of us. Oh, my, I thought we were just getting Well, people that usually hate like... on people are usually people that are jealous of them or want to be like them. I've learned that in life. I've always had, because I've never needed fame because I've come from it. Since I was born, I was born into fame. Like, my dad's the biggest star in the world, the biggest singer of all time. So there wasn't, like, I need to be famous. I don't care about being famous. Like, it's just something that it just... I am already. So it's like, I don't need to, like, do any... So it's like, for me, it's just being on that show is, like, I feel like it was... It was a great thing. It was, like, it was actually a really good thing, but I feel like they edited so much stuff that was so so much funny things that happened like me and her on that little uh we filmed something where we were on the uh the bikes the little bikes and i'm like she's like there's a stop sign and i'm like oh don't worry it's stoptional she's like but then we'll be criminals and i'm like well i guess we'll be the biggest criminals on this island and there's just like so much funny things that they didn't use or put in there just to like show like this was like it wasn't so serious. Like, yeah. you were having fun. Yeah. And yeah. you were just showing her a good time. And that's what I had always pitched as, like, why Sean should go on date, why you should be at the Laguna trip. And it's, I felt like that is the problem with those. There's, having fun was, like, a bad thing this season. Like, yeah. Heidi's. Yeah, like, so like Heidi's. They tried the, to make it so serious. And dark. Yeah. It's like, dark. It's, why is it, like, I like watching shows where people have fun and they have, like, fun commentary and they do fun things. Like, yeah, you can have drama in there and certain things, but it needs to be a balance or else it's too heavy like when i'm sitting at home watching a reality show with a glass of wine i want to enjoy what i'm watching yeah but you also people it's like in tv people want to see arguments but they also want to see the two people that argue talk about it and work it out so like something like this is frustrating that they didn't like use and it's like it is what it is i they just aired the scene at don antonio's Right. Mm -hmm. And in that scene, I talked to Brody about like another reason why uh, we're, we didn't go to that party that Audrina threw for Jason Ashley. And in that scene, I FaceTimed you because you told me that you were out with um, Justin and Jason. And they, he was saying slanderous things. You're like, whoa, I'm not cool with yeah. that. And you're like, and he was like, oh, I don't have to take sides. Or, and like, we. Yeah, that, that was, was filmed. Jason I, did say that. Yeah, Justin really wasn't saying much. It was more Jason than Justin. So why wouldn't they air that? Why and, wouldn't they air Jason here's what's talking infuriating smack. me. In Tahoe, I get into it with Justin, and he's like, uh, Jason never said anything. I'm like, Sean told me, and Brody, he didn't. He's like, well, Sean's not telling you the truth. I'm like, and then I got into him, I'm like, I trust Sean 
eight billion times more than I do you, Justin. He's like, Sean wasn't at your wedding. I'm like, they didn't pay Sean to be at my Hills wedding. And I'm sure if you know they had reached out, he would have yeah, done it for free. Yeah, if you reached out I would have been there yeah, for like, free. But that was his I would have done it to show why, up for you guys. But that was his logic of why I should believe him over. I was like, no, that doesn't work. It's so just that's frustrating. frustrating. They don't show that clip. They have that. So it's like. That would have been good entertainment. Oh, and it like had brought you back in. You know, even though they were trying to murk you out, because like that was the problem. It's well, like, I think people were trying to murk me out. It was out that's of what jealousy I mean. because they knew someone was shining more than they were. Exactly, and you were up. Like everyone felt that. I know it doesn't translate on camera, but like everyone was like, "Sean, Sean, Sean, this is the bet." Like you were, you were supposed to be the breakout star of this season, and but you didn't get like going. And I felt like you even told me like I'm just easing into this because you had opinions about everyone and comments, and you're like, I don't want to just start. You know, letting people like I want to like give people a chance, but you were even like, wait till I get going. Like you, like if even... they want me to get going, That's I can a... get going. I'll and Kevin Hart every uh, motherfucker on that show, yeah. <laughs> except you two. <laughs> so, but that was what's frustrating. And I and I watched back that Don Antonio scene. I was like, man, that was actual drama, and it shows again why we have a problem with this couple because they're out with no. My... That they just have a problem with us. No, like, but I have a we literally for don't them say anything. A with yeah. us. all they do is just talk smack about us and want a problem with us and it's so it's infuriating ridiculous. That this is like our story arc like right. that I had to talk about them. like yesterday I was doing my interviews from like the finale and I'm still having to tell I'm like I don't want to talk about these two on my last time on the hills like they are not I was like this isn't part of my friend group I don't even know them they just got brought in because I don't even know how so it makes no sense that like my closure on this show that means so much to me has anything to do with these two and it was just like yeah oh. it's infuriating that they came in and took our story yeah. Like and blocked part it of out, my narrative. let us not have our own narrative, took it over, and then had to follow it. And I literally was like, this is a one-sided problem, and I don't want to talk about it in my testimonials. I don't want to have to keep having them confront us. That's why I talked to her one time to defuse it, because I thought that was ending it, and then they have to keep doing it and keep doing it. It's like, I don't want to be talking about you guys anymore, and I don't want you talking about me anymore. Like, on other shows, they just air that one side, or they stop it, and they're like, hey, we need a new narrative, we need a new directive, like, you can't keep having the same thing every episode is ridiculous so i think you're i think you're happy that you bowed out when you did because yeah. you got to focus on other things and you know you have a new dog and you have so much other things and your, clo going on. your clothing line is relaunching dirty weekend yeah, congrats so, yeah. on we, that um, but we're I mean, gonna launch found this it summer in we founded it and we sold out and i kind of lost interest in it but there's such a great lifestyle brand where it's unisex. We're doing men. We're doing women. We're doing a dirty weekend panties for women, which is the price margin on panties is insane. So we're going to start slow. We're going to do three pieces for women, three pieces for men. You guys will be invited to the launch party. We're going to have a huge performer there. I um, hope it's. Rod Stewart. Well, maybe. Or Sean Stewart. <laughs> or we're going to have, it's going to be a big hip hop artist. Okay. Huge hip hop artist. I have a bunch of other stuff going on. Real estate. You know, I'm trying to open up a bar. I have a great bar concept that I've always been wanting to open called Hot Legs, based around women with great legs. Kind of like a Hooters, but the bottom part for the masses. Hangout spot, pick up place. So I got so much things going on as an entrepreneur, and I've always been a young entrepreneur. I remember when I was 12 years old, we lived on Carrollwood, and I knew that there was already a buyer. So I was like, okay, there's already a built in buyer, there's already a market. I set up a, lemon, a lemonade stand outside my dad's house on Carrollwood, and Starbuses would come by and stop by the house. So I knew, I'm like, all right, I could sell it to them. I was making a thousand to two thousand dollars every Saturday and Sunday, and then I started selling my dad's autographs. <laughs> oh my so I was God. making a lot of money, that and that's goodness. how I knew Amazing. being oh, being an incredible. entrepreneur was like came naturally to me. You were also a pioneer in reality television. For our audience that doesn't know, Sean had one of the first docu series about himself, Sons of Hollywood. And Check the theme it out. song. And did the Great theme, song. theme song. It's a hit in crowd. Song. In crowd. But let's rewind about that experience. What's what is different from reality television back? Wow. What year was that in? That was um in two thousand six. Five, two thousand five, or something like that. What, the, around was, there, because we watched it together, so we had to have been together. So it, it was such a good show. Six, I just feel like I was so young then, and I didn't know how to 
be I would take things too far. Now I can be funny, but not take things too far. Where it was like such a great show, great concept, and it's different now. Like they don't tell you what to do or what to say. Back then. Back then. You just go. And there's cameras mm -hmm. right on you at all time. And I remember filming is like doing the whole, I was signed to a record label. We had a real single, the in crowd. I remember when it first came on XM radio and people are calling, oh my God, the in crowd, the in crowd. And it was just like such an amazing feeling. Like, wow, this is incredible. Like so much love. And I remember just the whole, th it was on the wrong network. Was it A&E? It was A&E. And people didn't understand that kind of entourage, kind of, you know, fast life where people now want to live in. Like people are selling brands and selling alcohol by posting their alcohol company on a yacht or, you know, people want to see that lifestyle. They want to live that life. And that's what they're selling. People are selling brands that way. Better put I, those weekend panties on a jet. Every seat, so, cover them. Exactly. And a yacht. Those the and a yacht. Yacht. Yachts are still yeah. cool. So yes. we're doing t -sh crop tops for the girls and these little cool shorts that say Dirty Weekend on the back in panties. Hoodies for the men, t-shirts, and beanies for the men. And Great. when are you planning on this launch? Middle of September. Is it the website? Uh, the website is not launched yet. I just bought the domains to it. So, so don't say it. So, 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 <laughs> don't say it. So, so do you want to sit here while we recap the, the hills? That is, we This usually to. is our recap episode. Do you right? want to hear what's going on? Like, we can you, get your take. And you want to have a hot, hot takes? Yeah, why not? Okay, let's get to our notes that we prepared <clears throat> with Steve's help. Um, Steve's our hills tutor. Thankfully, we didn't recap. This is a day late because Heidi was so... Mad I on was. the other night watching this up. that she actually took it out on me and was like trying to like wrestle me and like <laughs> like arm bar me I like did. I'm like I she did. had so much like just anger that she had to like channel it physically. I didn't I was, angrily wrestle you. I was, no, it was like fun, was, silly, yeah. but it was very strong yeah. and like I did have just a lot you, of energy. You were like, ah, it was just you're so pumped mm, up. I was very pumped up. Um. Also, we had a lot going on that day, so it was just a pumped up day. Yeah, I was I mean, like, oof, my very, gosh, very okay. pumped up. So here's this. It starts with Caitlin. This is Brody's. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna make this clear again. She was never in an actual marriage, so she doesn't know what a marriage should be. So let me just preface that because she tries to shade Heidi and I in the scene. I got more DMs from actual wives and married people saying that this girl's brain does not work because she's like, Heidi and Spencer only care about each other and like, like whatever this dumb. You sentence guys was. should care about no, each it other. Was literally that. <laughs> like, like what? Like you're putting like. I hope you guys like, care about no, each other. No, it was that stupid. I was like, girl, no. you just say this on so television. So obviously, like, I would be a little concerned about the rela her current relationship, too. I'm like, I hope this one's different for you. You can just suck it and not go back. I've learned that like it comes out easier. But, um, to not have the sound? Yeah. So anyways, oh, oh, they're like, oh, off. bummer. Spidey didn't come to Ashley's baby shower announcement, Jason's sober party, whatever. The reason I didn't go, and I know that you know this, is because I heard that she was talking about me literally from producers I heard that and Adrena so the night before I saw Adrena we filmed a pickup at Brody's house I had a conversation in person with Adrena and she told me all this stuff and, she, and I was like I'm not gonna go because they're like she's gonna confront you there like Ashley wants to confront you at her baby announcement about I'm like, how awful you were right. in uh, and I'm like, this is so inappropriate. Like, I'm not going. This is so inappropriate. This is so weird. Like, just leave me alone. Stop trying to have problems with me and not at your baby shower. Like, this is about you and Jason. I'm not going. And now Adrena is playing it like, oh, Heidi, ne I never said anything to her. And she's making this all and you up. Can't and can't reason with Heidi. I'm like, First girl. First off, girl, you haven't talked to Heidi in 12 years. 15 no, years. No, but I saw I'm, you no, the day but before. I'm saying, like, I literally how, just saw you but, in like, person. She's acting like she knows you so well, too. Like, girl, right. you're a stranger. Like, it's not... been fun reconnecting with her like, while we film a little bit. But, like, like she's a we're not close friends at all. I've seen her a few times filming. And we're, like, 
you don't even know me to speak about me like that. Anyways, okay, oh, back to Kayla right. and Ashley. Kaylin's like, they're in their own world. And their Ashley, friendships are surface level. First, Kaylin, you actually don't like Heidi and I have said this multiple times, so we don't even have a surface level friendship with you. Somebody also DM me. We're not even acquaintances. Yeah, like, uh, somebody messaged me like, does Kaylin forget we all follow on Instagram? And she very carefully posts every single person she's ever interacted with. Has she ever posted Heidi and I since she's had the app? No, we have we don't even have a surface level friendship with you. So why would you try to like act like you know what our friendships are like with our actual friends, you stranger? And then like, Ashley ends it with shading me again and ha- saying a negative comment. I'm like, just you're obsessing with me. Just stop. Like it's just getting weird now. Like <laughs> stop, stop. I love Steve says Heidi's doing yoga. Oh yeah, I'm doing <laughs> yoga by myself. That wasn't yoga. I'm doing a little was workout. That was, that was I've workout. never done yoga in my life. I've done. It I don't think I could it's... actually have the attention span to sit there and do yoga. I it's could see that. if it's hard yoga, it's a workout. Like if you want to, my friend Kyle, do a Zoom with her, you'll be like, it's more like a workout. It's like, why? The, why? On the show, why was everybody like trying to say, oh, Spencer and Heidi are alcoholics? You guys are not alcoholics. This was the weirdest. Here's the best part about this. Perfect for this episode. In tonight's episode, Brody's back to drinking, which nobody even acknowledges. He comes into the party going, shots, shots, shots. Uh, He's literally taking shots. Caroline actually has a scene where she tells Kristen like, oh, my God, I'm so wasted. I'm going to take off my clothes. And like she's acting so like oh my God, she's so messed up, blah, blah, blah. Nobody's like, oh, let's have it. Look at Caroline or look at Brody. So tonight it's totally fine that everybody has drinks and everyone's drinking. What, just because they're not whopping? At well, a, first, like, like, first like, of all, you guys are not alcoholics. And second of all, them saying that is just them hating on you that you can have fun and ha- still enjoy your life as a couple and as parents. It's yeah, it's like your life doesn't stop. And it's important to like have fun, turn up, have the allocated time if you want to do that. And like, I don't sit here and judge people. I, it's not something I like doing. It's not something I enjoy. Like these people obviously like doing that. Like if I see someone having fun, I'm like, yay, good for you having fun. If I see someone upset, I'm like, oh, I hope you're okay. Like I'm not here to judge people. It's one of the last things I want to do. But for people, they just want to do that and call us out and try to make us look bad on TV. It's like, why don't you just focus on yourself? You're so worried about me. What's your husband doing? What are you doing? Like, gosh, why doesn't everyone just try to have a little fun? Anyways, okay. Wait, you could... wait, wait pause. Brody did FaceTime us last night mm-hmm. while drinking red wine and said that he's so happy how the hills turned out and Heidi looks so fun and so awesome and that he looks so bad and the rest of the cast looks so bad and that he's glad that everybody was trying to make her look bad and it backfired her so that was a nice like FaceTime this. that we got I from did her. appreciate oh, that. I was like oh that's, that's good. good oh do that on like, the podcast that see, like, perspective here <laughs> yeah, I'm glad your eyes like, work I was just literally like, trying to have fun all right let's all right. go to Spencer and Brody at Don Antonio's this was my first favorite scene of the hills because I love Don Antonio so much a lot of people messaging me asking if I ate all the food on the table yes of course I did I actually they rushed me because of filming I got into it with the producer because I was trying to order more because I knew they were paying so uh, they didn't even acknowledge that I did order the nachos as well and I think did they show my tortilla soup I don't think they did so and I addressed my bulking phase which is I'm no longer in bulking we're now trying to debulk so I just ran on the trail. I'm wearing running shoes sitting in here. Uh, so yes, Brody is having margaritas. So here's the one thing about Brody not drinking. He made a deal with his mom because during the pandemic, I was watching his IG story. I thought he looked like the most fun ever. He was partying, living his best life. And then some of his friends who also party, this is backstory, you know, I think said something to his mom. And then so to make a point to his mom, he's like, I could quit drinking today. And she's like, well, then do it. And he's like, what? and she's like, do it for six months. So he made this pact with his mom and literally made an app that had a countdown day. And then I'm like, you just quit. We're about to start filming the show again. He's like, well, let's start filming in January when the app's up. I'm like, no, call your mom back. Tell her you'll start the deal after we're done making a television show. Like, hello. All due respect to her, but she already murked out our Princess of Malibu. She doesn't need to murk out the hills for us as well. Um, so, yeah, that's why Brody wasn't drinking. So, thankfully, his app ran out 
the day, right before we got to Don Antonio's. So now Brody's back to normal, ordering double shots of tequila. And I'm like, good thing we made it six episodes into the show with you not being yourself because of a, a deal. But So, yeah, Brody's drinking. Uh, he says, I love you, buddy, to me. Uh, he tells a story about how we used to drink like wild animals. I still do. And that back at the Nobu so Malibu. Does he. so does he. <laughs> if he watches and, Instagram, yeah, allegedly. Yeah, I like, mean, if you I've literally seen that, just watch know, his story. Like, maybe it, all, maybe it's just awesome. turn up. I don't He's know. A DJ. Oh my God, did you hear about Joe Francis? How's burning down? That's, yeah, that actually made me sad. I just thought of that. Like how so, sad I was people know. think like allegedly, yeah, like debts in Vegas and maybe it was revenge. I don't know. I think I, that's what I thought too. But then I look at the roof of the house and it is yeah. just hay straw. No, but why would the house be on the people were there like I hate to take it off story but like, I just like came to my head like because I remember we too. went down oh, there together speaking of wild animals exactly I was sad and Heidi and I spent two weeks there when Joe was in jail he let us be there mm-hmm. and we were like Such calling him in jail place. and it was yeah, some of our best nice. memories and have some great photos you guys should tell your Sean Stewart you're, uh, oh, oh when you God, put that, me when you oh, I locked you in things. the alligator um, cage. Yeah, oh, yeah like I'm a room, like say an alligator. Karma, but then you did you hit your face before after? Yes, this? I ran into the wing of the plane and I had bl- like I literally remember oh, I had a third stitches. eye. I had to have stitches. Yeah, so we land. We go to Joe Francis. This is let's segue. So now we're landed in Puerto Vallarta. Joe Francis just made all his go girls gone wild money which is now literally just instagram so like good for him to make instagram <laughs> like yeah it, like he make it he made like, instagram, he made instagram but <laughs> before just, instagram yeah but it was dvds and you had to buy them so smart guy he guess he should have got into the app world um and he invited us to his insane you know it's a 30 million dollar estate on incredible. the wall incredible and right when we land uh sean had already been there i think before so he knew or maybe had he been there or no but he, he said, Spencer, I think that was come like here. my second time. First come here. Him and Joe are like, come here, go in this room. And they lock me in this room with baby alligators. And I'm like, let me out. Like, the baby alligators are coming near me. And they're like, they're just babies. I'm like, baby alligators. Like, so that I was think hectic. there was footage of it. Somebody You were footage. filming. I you was, had a camera inside the room I that we locked you in. all of my, don't get me started. I filmed everything and lost everything. So it is, it's frustrating. So you might as well have not filmed. I was just like. <laughs> he just had just, a lot of Should have just had fun. Right. I, I have a really strong right. wrist. So then we had the best time ever. And then this house just burned down last week. You can check out the photos on TMZ. But very sad. And I'm not sure he has the budget to rebuild at that level. And no. I don't know how like. I, but insurance you, though. I think they have like. They can't. You can't have, cover that much. No, if you have insurance, the insurance covers the home. Do you think yeah, he has insurance? Yeah, but up to an amount, Of course. Right? The, he's making $25,000 a day on a rental so he has to get rental rented insurance. out. So he has yeah. rental insurance. Oh, he's he's maybe, got all kind of insurance maybe for that. He wanted, I hope so. Maybe he wanted a nice repair. Because it's a business, and obviously he has to form an LLC, and then the LLC company has to be insured. We'll see. Mexico is Mexico. Uh, so back to us being wild animals on the hills, bro. You, I bring up the story of when Nobu used to be in Cross Creek, oh, not the remember beach that. one. And I was in there, and they I lit the table on fire because all of a sudden, like, I spilled a flaming shot because I'd been drinking. And it's like, ah, the fire touched me, and it scared me or whatever. And the table's on fire and napkins and da-da-da-da. I don't know if it was the same night. I think probably was. Jennifer Aniston was sitting I think by herself, probably just having a lonely, sad, you know, uh, Brad Pitt just broke up with her because he cheated with Angelina. Da, da. So I go over there and try to be a nice gentleman and say, you know, Angelina sucks and, you know, you can do better than Brad Pitt, knowing that's very challenging. And I think she knew that as well. And I don't think she was happy about it, but I, that was a memory that we rehashed. So then um, I guess I say I have to. Oh. So Brody said, why didn't I go to the Waller party? And I was like, because I'm backing Heidi if this person is saying, here's the funniest part about this episode. Audrina says that Ashley never said anything. Then Ashley actually says on television, forget all the other things she did say on television to Audrina and to other people. She looks right at Heidi and was like, I, all I said was that you were really annoying. But, like, I was annoyed by a lot of people. But, yeah, you were really annoying. It's like, that's talking sh- If somebody said to write to my face on a television show, you're really annoying, I'll be like, F you, mf or beep bitty beep And you're like, telling people that. Yeah, and you're like, going you're around also, behind my back yeah, like, and the looks that you're giving. Calling like, people, a, somebody annoying is talking sh- 
Like that what? is very true. <laughs> like that is talking on a sh- television show yeah. too. It's like, and you can't be like, oh, I didn't say that. What are you talking about? Yeah. Wait, there's footage of you saying yeah. that right there. And right. then you just said it to Heidi's face, also. So of course I wouldn't go to like. I'm not gonna go pretend. That's great. You're having a baby, and that's awesome. I'm I'm happy that humans can have babies, but I'm not gonna go celebrate anything for you guys because I I I can't fake that. You talk sh- about my wife. You're dead and you want to confront me then. Yeah, and you're also like, going to confront what? Heidi about, and then you even had shady sideways comments that party when you're like, oh, what, Heidi couldn't be here and not drink? They just zoomed in on the full bar that there was there to drink, and it was very pitch to us as a margarita taco right. party. So it was a total setup. Heidi was going to go there, have margaritas like she's supposed to on a television show and any normal person at a party would do. Have tacos, be drinking. Other and people then, were drinking yeah, there. Other people... I love oh, margaritas. Yeah, Who course. doesn't love margaritas? <laughs> and, then, and then Ashley's going to come in and be like, are you really drinking on Jason's sobriety announcement? Even though we knew the actual party's agenda was the baby announcement. So they had to add that it was a sobriety thing to try to like make it a setup to try to make Heidi look bad. Like It was an actual conspiracy. Well, who cares if you guys are having a drink? The, you can have a drink and enjoy himself. He has I a drink. He ends right up in now. a car driving to a 7-Eleven or something. I'm not in budget, AA. Like, yeah. I'm literally not sitting here in AA, I'm not asking for help. I'm not even asked for anyone's Opinions. opinion on it. I would never voice my opinion about other people's recreational activities that they do that I don't say things about either because guess what? That's not my business. That's like, why I went through so the confused. whole, I went to AA first when I was younger in my 20s. I never had an alcohol drug problem. I was just young and immature and maybe thought I did. But as, as you get older, you grow up and you can handle it in a different way unless you really are an alcoholic. Like an alcoholic is someone who has one drink and they can't stop and they black out. A year later, they come home and their whole family's falling apart. Like I would go to a meetings like, I had one drink. <laughs> I disappeared. I smoked some crack. I came back a year later. My dog was dead and my wife left me for another man. I'm like, what? That doesn't happen to me. I have one drink. I get a little like, buzz. I'm like, yeah, let's have some fun. I think I'm in yeah, the wrong place. Like, um, this is the wrong yeah. meeting. All right, let's cut to Kristen and Andrina. So this show, this episode or this scene made me really upset. I was really frustrated about it. I knew when I heard about it. So do you have Disick on the back of your... Oh my God! Yeah, he, he's back of the phone. Show the cam. Show the cam. He's a he he's a Scott good friend Disick, of mine Lord for Disick many many a, many years, and he decided to put it on the back of my phone. Does he just have these stickers at his house? Yeah, he just puts stickers. You on need to get phone. a little one with a crystal crown underneath and it. Just start sticking Sean's it phone. On. <laughs> I can't believe I have sticker. it on my phone too. I'm like, but I don't care. We go that back way so, so long. Funny. That it's is a lot so of love. He was on that show. That was his first reality show. Your show. Yeah, he Scott was on Sunday Hollywood. He came on and did his his moment. There it is. What do you think? about was, him and Courtney. I, Are they ever going to get back together? I don't know. That's their business. Like, <laughs> I all of a sudden gets real know. serious. <laughs> uh, that I have nothing <laughs> no to do with. No comments. Yeah. <laughs> well, I always hope they get back together because I just love You're friends them with together. his new girlfriend, though, before they were even together, right? She's your neighbor? No, no? I knew I knew um, sister? her sister. Oh, okay. And I recently just met Amelia, but they're really, they're really great girls. Is that yeah. Renna's? Both of them. Daughter? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So Heidi's really okay. mad because this... This scene wasn't supposed to happen. Exactly. It was supposed to be Adrena, Kristen, and I together first. So that was supposed to be the scene. Then all of a sudden, I hear that those two had a scene alone, and I know it was just to talk about me. And I'm like, that's so lame that Adrena gets the first narrative and to pin Kristen against me and try to talk smack to Kristen. Like, I'm better friends with Kristen than Adrena has been. Like, those two literally got into it. At the uncommon or the when we went to Nashville and they were filming, they almost got into it at the table about like how they would hate each other. Even the flashback was like, "You were a bitch." Like she totally went out there. The hills showed they're like about to fight each other. So well, there's there's one thing that really bothered me. I didn't. I just can't can't wait to hear. (laughs) Audrina, yeah, Sean calls me all the time, honey. Show people the missed phone calls by me. (laughs) Okay, <laughs> show people the missed phone calls by me because I guarantee you there will not be one. I texted you a few times to make sure you were okay because you were going through a hard time and tried to help you out with a situation with my friend from LAPD for 40 years. Yeah. So just to clear that up. Yeah. Good clarity. Yeah. Great clarity. I like that clarity. Um, yes. So Adrena 
sits down with uh, Kristen and they said that they had their ups and downs, but now they're both divorced, want to turn up. So I was glad they talked about something other than me. And then Adrena is just not telling the full truth to Kristen at all. It's like, you're the one who's told me this. You've started this whole drama between Ashley and I. You keep fueling both sides. And now you're like, I'm stuck in the middle and like playing victim. Like this is, this is ridiculous. You have started this own what you said. And she's saying that I didn't show up and I didn't talk to her about it. Like, no, that's not true. I saw you the day before in person before Ashley's party. You agreed with me and said Ashley was completely out of line. And then I called you the day of filming because you had producers on the phone being like, we're going to pretend you never called me. And I'm like, no, I'm not okay with that storyline. That's not true and don't do that to me if you are any kind of friend of me or have any loyalty then don't do that she's like sorry that's it I'm like how dare you because I would never do that to you I have way more respect for you than that even if we're not close friends and then at that point it just showed me who she was and I was like wow that's so disappointing that literally you don't care about me at all and you'll lie and you'll throw me under the bus like that for a TV show that you're not even making that much money on. Like you must actually have a problem with me and not care if we ever talk again because that's so lame. Like I would never well, do she's that. probably jealous of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she's like, she's pro- usually someone who acts that way is usually jealous or to try to outshine you on the show because you're shining more than them. That's what I've learned in life. What I've learned is what you just said is sh- like people don't get that it's a collaborative effort. Like I want – that's why I hate my cast so much. I want them all to shine because if everyone shines, you then you have Georgie You're Shore. And then exactly. we're winning. We're getting bigger paychecks. And the reason, the but, reason why Georgie Shore worked so well because everybody was a team and worked together. Right. Everybody on the hills weren't working together. Uh, Some of them were working against uh, you, which – backfired that's all they do they all try to just take us down and work against us and it's like everyone needs to be a star everyone needs to shine everyone needs to turn up everyone needs to work as hard i'm not saying everyone needs a drink but i'm saying you need to put it all out there you need to work hard you need to show up and have a good attitude so i just made this point in my testimonial because they're like oh and i was like oh what because uh you know, Ashley was pregnant. She can't have fun. And then I pulled up video after video of Heidi when she was, I said 10 months pregnant because that's how pregnant you look. But I forgot. <laughs> Seven, you have a, eight. A, a, like, I was eight. Like, Thank you. Uh, 20 months pregnant. Like, and she is <laughs> doing the same dances. Doing Like you can't tell the difference between uh, drinking not pregnant Heidi on the hills and my videos I have of her. Like, I it's like not to have like, fun. Yeah, it's not I like, like to turn up. So that's like, the point. Not with Even alcohol if, if you're or not. you're pregnant and like annoyed by everyone in your cast, you shouldn't be there. Stay home. We're making a television show. And that's what she was saying. Like, I was so hormonal. That's, I understand. But don't come onto a set. This is a set. We all drove to San Diego to make a hit television show, to make millions of dollars, to have advertisers want to buy into this show, not for you to pouty mad dog people and complain about being people being loud and being annoyed. Like, that's not interesting. Everyone's just in a pandemic. Like you're ruining just the show. Go home. Like, you weren't even invited. Who are you? Why, why are you doing this? Like, get out that's of here. That's a bummer. You, you sabotage. 10 years of my prayer is to bring the show back to them pout and be little whiny, complainy. Like, your storyline is not like Heidi's too loud and not fun. Like, your your storyline is hating on Heidi. Like, really? Your real storyline, which they filmed before COVID, that I addressed and you said, I guess you covered on your YouTube channel, is that you and Jason just broke up because of Allegate. I mean, there's so much. I don't even want to talk about them because they're not my storyline, but they had real storylines right. that they didn't film. Cut like, to Jason and Justin. I actually fast forward this because I couldn't no, watch Justin it. Justin and Jason. Jason. Is that what you said? Jason, yeah. Yeah, whatever. we fast forward this. So no, boring. All couldn't even watch it. it you don't horrible. put this on TV. This is an IG story when you go look at something like And then go to Spidey. Spencer's covering me and Crystal's trying to get pregnant. It was really sweet what you said that I appreciated that you always want to support me and help me and this is something that you can't help me with and how hard that is for you. So thank you for that love and support again. Um, Back to Jason and Justin. I'm going to get all emotional. This is a cute moment for you two. Back to Jason and Justin. Fast forward again. Okay, Kristen's party. Let's get there. So 
Everyone loves Kristen and is so excited to see her. This is also what's so annoying. Everyone's like, Kristen's so fun and she's drinking and it's so fun for her. I'm like, okay, so it's okay for Kristen to come in and she's fun party girl and she makes everybody turn up and brings out this wild side in them. But then I drink and I'm like ostracized for it. I was like, okay, that was annoying. Um, Sean was there. What did you think? I of was the party? there. Yeah. I don't understand why they didn't use me. Maybe I was too good looking. <laughs> <laughs> and oh that my hair. gosh, they didn't use that British girl that you knew. The Australian, Australian girl. I knew her. The Brody right. like That he left yeah, with. Yeah, that he left. Gosh, so weird. Because he ended up leaving with Adrena later oh, after then, that. Yeah. No. So it's like, how are they going to explain? Adrena texted Adrena Adrena text me, asked me to come back to the house that they were at that night. And I was like, no, I'm in bed. They so, stay up late, those, yeah, those people, too. those uh, vampires. Um, okay, so Kristen talks to me and I was like, oh, I can't believe you and Adrena are fighting. And this was the first time. I even knew Adrena had a problem with me because I had talked to her before the party. I explained to her that day, like, hey, please don't do this with the producers. And then she ignored me for days when she was, like, texting me every day. And I'm like, what's going on? She's like, oh, I'm sick. Okay, yeah, you're sick. Fine. And she's like, I'll see you at the party. And so she didn't say, like, hey, I have a problem. I've said this. I've said that. So I literally was in the dark. I had no you idea. You looked like actual shock. No, like, I was, was shocked. real reality face. And then like, Kristen's like, oh, you and Adrena aren't getting along. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? Like, I have no idea. And how dare Adrena, if she have a problem, go around telling everyone. And Like, I'm just a direct person. If I have a problem with you, I'm going to call you. Like, with Ashley even at the party, I'm going to confront you right there. Like, I'm not 12 years old. I'm a woman. I'm an adult. I can handle my own business. I don't need a mediator to come in. I don't need to play telephone. Like, this is out of hand. Adrena just want to run with it. She's like, great. I have a storyline. I'm fighting with Heidi, but I'm just the victim here. Like, wrong play, girlfriend. So the fact- Who's the she, victim? Adrena is making <laughs> she's herself not the, the victim. victim. <laughs> this is, she's making herself, the, I'm, I don't want to be involved in this anymore. I'm like, I you put, are going Heidi's around. putting me in this. It's like, you literally no, told no. us everything. She tries to play the good role in every situation. Every, she does. But the truth always will prevail about people always trying to play good. Especially she when you do it flyers. on camera. Like people keep asking yeah. like, does she know she's being filmed? Like, she's like, I never said that to Heidi. I'm like, you did say that to me and Ashley said it to my face. And Ashley said stuff to you on camera that the audience has watched. That's what I'm saying. So, and what you said to me off camera is wild about Ashley and everything. So it's like, I can't believe you're saying, calling me a just, liar. Just Ashley say, okay, if you're a friend, ready for this? Let's rewind to Ashley's party. Ashley goes, oh, what, Heidi couldn't come here if she can't drink? That's as talking a, shit. As a friend right there, Audrina's supposed to say, whoa, like, 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 chill out. I was throwing up that night. Adrena was throwing up that night in and other San people. Diego. So she could have been like, hey, let's yeah. chill on that. Like, if she's a friend, instead of going, mm, 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 like whatever dumb face she gave, you know, like, that's right there. You were an accomplice to shit talking uh, four days ago, but then you were not involved. Like, you literally, or, or walk away. Be like, I'm not going to have you shame I don't want to be involved. Yeah, like, you could have said that yeah, right that, there. If you don't want to be involved, that's right. when you say it. Not in your testimonials right. to sound all like, like, uh, high and mighty. Yeah, like, she uh, literally is trying to make herself sound like she's so great and I'm trying to drag her and make up lies. I'm like, you're literally lying. You are sitting here lying when that facts, and this has been said, is on camera. Like, what is your problem? You really just want a problem with me? Like, I don't understand i'm nothing but nice to you nothing but supportive i have respect for you regardless like i would never treat you this way i wouldn't treat caitlin carter that way and her and i have never even been close acquaintances at all so that was just so frustrating that she's acting like i made things up and i mean the whole thing was just yeah i was getting so mad watching it and then walking out like i'm not doing this oh it's and like, my best is she like puts you? on this top and is like this is what i've heard heidi say this so much in front of these girls and like trying to pump them up like you gotta be a boss bitch we gotta be fun it's like adrena doesn't talk like that but on this episode she's gonna be a boss bitch it's like girl give stop trying to be heidi get out of here i think she i think she maybe oh, want to be like you oh, heidi she, she's well, it's so awesome. infuriating that she says all these things i say and before we hung out right before that I hadn't heard her say anything like that. I'm like, you're, and you're taking my lingo? Like, get out of here she, with all hopefully this. Hopefully, maybe she whops in the finale. Then it's all good. She did wop with me. Do you remember that she ran up and tried oh, to wop with me at use the end? that footage. I have it on TikTok. Oh, uh, you got it, girl? Oh, oh I have you it. Should, oh. You should have posted it that night. Like, 
oh, I'm so drunk, but Heidi was getting so fired up. I was like, write in a notes app, honey. Write yeah. in a notes app like, yeah. as she's watching. So for Adrena, you completely lied. That's very disappointing. It's very disappointing that you have no respect for me and that you don't want to be friends. Like, damn, that was that's what hit me hard. Like, wow, you're just a bitch. Like, you really? I, I'm wrong about you. I have a good sense of character. I like to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. And you want to drag me? And after that, even further in your testimonial, once we've already been removed from the situation, like, damn, you are not who I thought. And it's just so disappointing because I have... I would just never do that to her. So that was that was just infuriating. So I wasn't one bit surprised. I was like, there you go. That's Adrena that I keep telling you she is. Yeah. It's like so, this girl's Kaiser Soze trying to play it out here. It's like Anyways, I go up and I confront uh Ashley right away because I had already planned on doing that and I'm I'm not gonna be one of these people who just go around and talk about everyone. It's like, no, the first person I'm gonna talk to about Ashley is Ashley. So I just pulled her aside and I was like, hey, do you want to talk? And she's like, yeah, with her great attitude again. Um, Sorry to interrupt. They also, Jason comes up and talks to me and then he used the footage because I literally tell him, we didn't come because you guys are talking shit about us like i don't know why that's not like yeah it's so weird they didn't you it's just weird so ashley's like i feel hurt that you are at the party i don't know why you literally have said nothing but negative things about me at your party you said nothing but negative things about me you've made it very clear you don't like me or want me around and you're annoying like are, yeah so are you just upset i wasn't at the party because you had this big confrontation and you were excited about it and that was your whole thing like you don't seem to care. And if you were hurt, you could have texted or, me. Or you could have actually have called, called and invited you. Right. Or texted and invited you. Or DM'd and invited you. And the fact that before she was saying to, um, you know, anyways, <sighs> so frustrating. Sean's so, like, can I go? I know. Sorry. Sorry, Sean. Um, no, no. I'm just listening. I'm just sitting here listening. Sean's like, so, Sean's like, I'm so glad I'm not on this show. So I said, yeah, I just feel hurt that you've been saying things about me and going around and trying to drag me basically on this show. And I don't need to have a reason or explain why I'm turning up. She's like, oh, I knew you were going through something. You Heidi never told opens me you were up. Vulnerable. I'm like, first of all, we've been in... We, I haven't even had a chance to talk to you. And every time I have had a chance to talk to you, you have a scowl on your face. You are being so negative. You're saying horrible things about me. You think you're someone I would ever open up to about what I'm going through? No, we're surface level acquaintances and not even that anymore. Coworkers. Coworkers. And then if I'm going through a hard time, that's not why I'm turning up either. I'm on vacation. I'm trying to have fun. Just because I was having a hard time and having a hard time getting pregnant has nothing to do with why I'm drinking. And everyone's or trying to make it that way. Or what everyone's top like, you're oh, wearing. she's just and acting like, this way. Also, she's acting out. I'm not acting out. The top I'm not broke. A- They're like, there was, oh, she was showing your boobies or whatever. It's like, it's I called had the nipple war- covers yeah. on, and anyways. It's also called the wardrobe okay. malfunction. But also, like, let me finish this. Justin so, like wasn't even there. I'm not a rebellious teenager. I am a mom who wakes up with my kids in the morning. Who I am with my kids, with my son almost all day. When I'm not doing that, I'm running a company. I'm working out. I'm very busy. I have a very high stress level life because I have a lot of things going on that I'm trying to eliminate. And if I want to go and have fun and turn up, I can do that. I don't need to explain that to anyone. It has nothing to do with getting pregnant or not. It has nothing to do with going through things. I like to have fun. Okay. So it's like when she's like, I knew you're going through something. No, that's a separate thing. So don't try to put your husband's problem, whoever problem projecting on me. Absolutely not. I'm not taking that. Stop saying that. Stop talking about me it's just ridiculous it's so annoying that this has to be a narrative like i want this to be more of a fun podcast like i don't want to feel like i'm on court every day defending myself it's it's just that's that's why i had so many people at dm say please keep recapping the podcast because last week we said we're not watching the show anymore but the show's almost over and there will never be another hills and we'll go back to having a fun awesome just having great guests where we talk about their lives and their clothing lines coming out and great stories but we need to just wrap this it's just infuriating so that's yeah it's just very frustrating so tune in wednesdays nights 9 p.m the hills it's a really awesome so are you gonna ever watch it no (laughs) (laughs) after this are you sure i watched it once and then i i just i get these dms like i literally get like thousands and thousands of dms and people saying you're so I when you have something about yourself when you walk into a room people just gravitate towards you it's true. like she's 
she should be so happy to be in your presence, your royalty, like my mom all this texted stuff. me and was like, Sean makes me smile so much. And we've talked about it in the podcast before. My mom doesn't like being called a hater. She's not a hater. She has strong opinions. She's a good critic. She's a good critic, but she does not text ever that she somebody makes her smile and she loves them and how funny he is. I so. said to Adrena in real life, I was like, if you were smart, you would really try to date Sean and like get that would <laughs> be luck, really girl. good for you. Yeah, like, yeah. like you would treat her so well, you would treat people so well. You have such great manners, you have such great respect. You're so thoughtful, you're so, so kind. Good with kids, so good with kids. Kid, You'd be like, willing to be a stepfather. That's hard to find sometimes. Well, rookie. So yeah, her loss. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just good to be here and clear up a lot of oh. things. And it's good to see you guys. We love oh. you. Yeah. So we gotta get back to your house love. for soccer. Well, I'll make sure good. to check out Sean's social media that he doesn't post from every now and then you'll get a cute dog photo. So, you know, it's, it's check life of the in crowd. I, it's yeah. booms in my head every watch time we say the, that. Uh, Should watch. we play a second of it? Yeah, let's just, um, It's on the Brat soundtrack. Go That's play the one that was in the Brad soundtrack. Okay, wow, you got that. Then. I wrote part of the song and produced it, so I still get publishing from it. You should. Um, do you have you ever wrote for other people? If you don't want to no, keep doing it, not really. Yeah, the chorus is catchy. That's a yeah. hit. Yeah, do the chorus. The chorus comes in quick. The chorus is the most catchiest part. It was like when Good Charlotte and Simple Plan yeah. used to be hot. Machine Gun Kelly so should good. cover that right now with Travis Barker. That, I feel like they could make that platinum right now. You should just DM me. <laughs> that would like, be amazing. You can cover That would be fire. Um, well, right, this well, has been you. the biggest star of the Hills. We were very disappointed when he left. We had to beg him to do it. Like, let's Every let's scene, we're like, please, please come, please. please, show please. Up. No, <laughs> in the beginning to get me on the show, they tried to hook me up with Caitlin. I'm like, no. <laughs> they, tri- they, uh, yeah. they wanted to hook me up with Brody. I mean, not Bro- Brody. <laughs> Caitlin... And Audrey, I'm like, no. And they're like, please, please. And then I was like, that's Brody's ex. I'm like, I can't do that to Brody. If only you'd known that Audrina was his secret girlfriend. Yeah, but whatever. Yeah. I could care less. No, I know. All you I'm can do, saying. all you can do is be good in, in the world and good things come to you. <laughs> that's the hashtag of the podcast. This is the life. This is the life of the in crowd.